107.5 WBLS.com. Shout out to all my guys at Open Line, the Bobs, Fatine. We had the Urban World Film Festival. I'm here with Nicole. So, Nicole, how are you? Hey, I'm doing splendid. Okay. Yeah. You repping Detroit or Jersey? Which I'm one? Repping Jersey. I scream Detroit at random times. <laughs> Detroit, what? <laughs> Detroit, baby. <laughs> Well, Nicole, I just want to ask you some questions. Yeah. Were you able to catch uh, Empire yesterday? I was doing this twist out, so no, I wasn't. I love it, by the Thank way. You. Okay. Tried it. Tried it. I tried it. <laughs> but do you are you an Empire I'm fan? I'm an Empire fan, yes. I am here with Rachel. Rachel, how are you? I'm good. How are you? I am good. I'm good. So, to my understanding, you watched Empire yesterday? Yes, I did. My first time ever watching Empire, actually. Oh, this is your first time? Yeah. Okay, so what kind of got you into Empire? What made you want to watch? Um, Realistically, everybody around me watched it. Like, I was on Twitter, and everybody was like, oh, my God, Empire. I don't want Empire. Yeah, so I was just like, you want to know what? I, like, set some time aside, and I was like, I'm going to watch it. And then I watched a part of it before I fell asleep. So before I came here, I saw the full episode. Mm. And now I'm going to watch the first season. What kind of attracts you to a show like Empire? What makes you go, oh, I got to watch it? Cookie. Cook that cookie. Done. Taraj. Uh-huh. That's about it. Taraj E.P. Henson. <laughs> yep. That, that, that's about it. I want to know, are you a fan of Empire? Did you see Empire yesterday? Yes. Okay. Yes, I did. Okay. And what did you think about it? Um, I enjoyed it. Okay. I thoroughly enjoyed it. I think they took it up a notch trying to top themselves from last season, and they did a, a really good job, so yeah. What about Empire makes you go, oh, I gotta watch it? Aside from blacks being on TV, mm -hmm. that's a great thing. Um, I think it tells our story. You know, we all got a cousin that went to jail who kind of did the whole life behind the scenes, so it's great to see that on, on camera. Okay. Not only did the characters seem genuine, but it was just like the storyline. I like I I want to understand the storyline and I think the writers behind Empire really give it a good type of vibe mm -hmm. to want to catch people, right. you know. And I think that's important to any television series in general. Absolutely. Yeah. So did you also know that Blackish premiered yesterday? Um, no, I did not. Are you a Blackish fan as well? You know what? It took me a while to get with Blackish. Were you happen to uh, catch the season premiere of Empire yesterday? No, I did not. I haven't caught that. It's on me and my girlfriend's list of things to watch. Okay. Scandal, Empire, um, How to Get Away with Murder. But we did watch the season premiere of Blackish. Yes. So we caught that. We okay. caught that for sure. Blackish also premiered yesterday. Did you know that? Did, and I didn't get a chance to see it because I was here at Urban World. So. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, because we're just finding it, it's hard because trying to get two black shows in at the same time, same date, it's kind of hard. And so. the network thing, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's hard for me to choose Blackish, Empire, they're on the same night, mm -hmm. same time. What do you think about, you know, networks putting two powerful, dynamic black shows against each other? Oh, it's intentional, for sure. You know, they're trying to split the crowd, you know, and, and it's just, it's intentional. But do you think people are more attracted to the kind of empire lifestyle or something more, a little positive than blackish? Um, I say a lot of people are more um, attracted to the empire lifestyle because it's the life of the rich and famous. Mm -hmm. Everybody wants to see like people all dressed up to the nines, like fresh shirt, mm -hmm. like, you know, like it's just a certain lifestyle that a lot of people want to see. What makes you interested in uh, a show like blackish? What makes that good for you? Blackish? is cool it's one of those shows that show you that like there's a little bit more happening in black culture than we've seen in a while like kids are doing a lot of other stuff like it's not not everybody's like wearing jays and wear do it like you know wearing jerseys and stuff like that we're all kind of have our own different interests like some kids skateboard you know some kids like ballet some right. kids like gymnastics i did gymnastics you know what i mean so is is showing like another type of blackness. You know, we're not a monolith. We're a lot of Africa is big, so what we got over here is big as well. How, how do you think we can further support black media, like television? Research is coming back with TV and black people. So how do you think we could better support? I think the best way to support black television, black film, is definitely awareness what you're trying to do, um, and knowing that. You know, the network will put, put dollars into things that we watch because our dollars are powerful. 
So even if you, some people say don't uh, DVR it, but watch it live. But I also say DVRing is a very powerful tool. If you catch it on YouTube, those plays equal dollars as well. There seems to be a resurgence of African Americans, a lot of African American media, television shows. You no, know, a lot is coming back for us. Yes. Hey, how do you guys feel about this? You guys are in a really good time and really good space. So how do you guys feel? It's when you're hungry, you're, you're happy about it, you know, that, that there's media out there that's uh, interested in asking you questions, you know, or that there's directors that have a story for you to, um, you know, perform in. So I'm excited, I'm mad excited, especially when I'm just coming in, you know, so I'm, I want to do as much work as I can. If they got it, let's do it, you know. Amen. I also think, you know, the thing about film festivals are so important. I always think hip hop. Why is hip hop huge? Because we loved hip hop so much and we created hip hop, right? And so then after that, then the whole world was in. Interested. No one can be interested in what you got if you ain't interested, right? So these film festivals is really an opportunity to be like, oh, I really love that actor, I really love that director. If you all run to it, then Hollywood runs to it. But you can't blame Hollywood. They won't give us money if you won't give us money now, you know? So, you know, you gotta... Open line, live. Shout out to the Boz, Brother Fatine, and we are out. Peace.